Hello, Jacqueline Stephanie. How are you? Hello, Good evening. How are you? Are you ready? I'm fine, teacher. Yes, I'm ready. How was your day? I am busy every day. Very good. A lot of work, a lot of money. Excellent. A lot of work. A only. lot of work, a lot of money. Only work, nothing money. <laughs> a lot of work, no money. <laughs> That's not good. That's not good. All right. Thank you guys for joining the class. Thank you for being on time. Um, I would like for us to go ahead and get started. I would like for you to tell me what information do you remember from the previous class? What information do you remember about the previous class? What information do you... And the conversation using simple past statements mm -hmm. with regular verbs. Correct. That is correct. We were looking at simple past statements with the regular verbs. So in today's class, we are going to start the irregular verbs. Now, who can give me a sentence with the verb cook in the simple past? Cook it. Cook it. No, give me one sentence. Una oración con el verbo uh, en el pasado. Yesterday, I cooked the cake for Sandra's birthday. Ah, okay. So... Como el pastel no decimos cook, decimos bake. I bake baked I a bake cake for cake Sandra's for birthday. Excellent. Birth. ¿Quién me puede dar una oración con cook en pasado? Cook en pasado, una oración. I cooked my dinner yesterday. Very good. I cooked oh. eggs and fried plantain for dinner yesterday. Right, cociné right. huevos y plátano frito para la cena de ayer. Ooh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ahora una oración con watch en negativo en pasado. I didn't. Watch. I didn't watch TV. Okay, no. es decir, no vi la cadena ayer. I didn't watch the presidential broadcast yesterday. All right. Ahora, ¿quién me puede dar un ejemplo con el verbo exercise en negativo en pasado? Exercise. I didn't exercise last, last weekend. I didn't exercise last weekend. Perfect. All right. So, todos estos son verbos regulares. Ahora vamos a continuar y vamos a irnos al próximo tema, que son los verbos regulares. Everybody listen and pay attention, please. Verbos regulares. Irregular. Perdón, irregulares. 
In this class, you learn to form positive and negative statements. Por favor, tome apuntes. Todos escuchan? Let's get started by yes. listening and practicing these statements in the past using irregular verbs. Simple. All right. Simple past irregular verbs. Past statements. Irregular verbs. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. Everybody repeat. I did my homework. I did my homework. I didn't do laundry. I didn't do laundry. Laundry. Quiero que noten que el verbo cuando está el auxiliar didn't, el verbo está en su forma base. You got up at noon. You didn't get up at 10 o'clock. Repeat. I got up. You got up at noon. You got up. You, got up. you, got up at noon. you didn't get up at 10 a.m. He went to the museum. He didn't go to the library. Repeat, uh, guys. Uh, alguien tiene, alguien está cerca de una televisión. ¿Quién es? Okay, guys. Si están cerca de una televisión, por favor mantenga su micrófono en silencio porque disturbe la clase. Okay. Repeat. He went to the museum. He went, he, went to, he went to the museum. He, went to the museum. he didn't go to the library. He didn't, he didn't go, go to the, to the library. library. We met our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. Repeat, we met our we classmates. Met our, our, we met our, we our classmates. We didn't meet our teacher. We, we didn't meet the teacher. Quiero que noten que todos los verbos están en simple present. Do, simple present. Ok, si está conectado en dos aparatos, por favor mantenga su micrófono en silencio. Repeat. Eh, ok, estaba explicándoles que todos los verbos cuando se usan el auxiliar didn't, eh, todos los verbos están en simple present. Do, get up, go, meet, come, have, todos están en su forma base. ¿Por qué? Porque tienen el auxiliar. Late. You didn't come home early. Repeat. You came home late. You came home late. You, came home late. you didn't come home early. You didn't come home early. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. In English, they had a picnic. They had a picnic. They had a picnic. They didn't have a party. They didn't have a party. We have two types of verbs. In our last class, we learned how to use regular verbs and learned the simple rule of adding ed to change those verbs to the past. We also have regular verbs, which are more complicated because there really isn't a particular rule to follow. You will need to learn them and memorize them. To form positive statements in the past using irregular verbs, we will follow the same formula as with forming positive statements with regular verbs. Subject plus verb in the past tense plus complement. On this chart, you can see a few examples. If you notice the positive statements, have the verbs in the past tense. And the negative statements have the verbs in the present tense. Okay, ¿qué dijo allí? Que el verbo que está en positivo 
la oración que está en positivo, el verbo está en pasado. Pero el, el, la oración que tiene negativo, el verbo está en presente. Do you understand? Yes, teacher. Yes, yes teacher. Okay. For example, the past of the verb do is did. Get up. The past is got up. Go. The past is went. Meet. The past is met. Come. The past is came. Have. The past is had. Let's analyze the first example. I did my homework. First, we add the subject I. Then we include the verb in the past tense. Did. Finally, we add a complement. Homework. To form negative statements, we will follow this formula. Subject plus didn't. The auxiliary didn't. Plus verb in the present. Plus complement. I didn't do laundry. First, we add the subject I. Then, we add the auxiliary verb to form negative statements in the past. Didn't. After that, we add the verb in the present. Do. Finally, we add the complement. Laundry. Now, it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to make... Okay. Ahora, me van a hacer una oración en positivo y en negativo. Una positivo y negativo con did, got up, went, met, came, had. One, two, three, four, five, six. Son seis oraciones positivas y seis oraciones negativas con estos mismos verbos. Did, got up, went, meet, came y had. Y lo vamos a escribir aquí abajo en el discussion forum. Por ejemplo, we went to birthday, my mother's birthday. We didn't go to the party. So, el verbo es go. Aquí está en negativo pasado. Correcto. Y aquí está en presente positivo. Any questions? Any questions? No, no teacher. Question. Okay. Vamos a trabajar en pareja para hacer esta actividad. Vamos. Let's go, let's go, let's go, let's go. Let's go, let's go. Eh, veo que Jorge, Alberto, Karen, Zuleima, Elena y Cristian Lisandro. Cristian Lisandro no ha ingresado a la sesión en parejas. Cristian Lisandro. Cristian Lisandro. Hola, Cristian Lisandro. Ok, entonces um, yo tomaría las primeras dos, si les parece. Vale. Ok. Y la compañera um, Claudia uh, la las otras dos y Katia sí las otras. Vale. Ok. Mm -hmm. 
I do exercise every morning. I do I do exercise every Okay. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, let me have one volunteer, one volunteer, one volunteer. Let me have one volunteer, one Jared, volunteer. Yes. Eh, con respecto al, al bueno, el pasado, el, el hub, si yo ocupo ese el pasado se ocupa para todas las personas correcto eh, en, en el pasado no se aplican las reglas del tercer persona singular de igual manera con el did supongo Cor correcto el verbo okay. siempre va en su forma base ok thanks thank you another question referring to this information teacher yo tengo una pregunta pero yes. no es como yes. es algo con lo que me confundo yo es que make y do es, se traduce lo, lo mismo hacer yes verdad que sí yes pero no sé no sé no sé cómo ocuparlo eso no sé son cuando ocupar do o make esos son verbos eh, lo que decimos que son verbos colocativos. Eh, ¿Qué quiere decir eso? Quiere decir que son verbos que se usan con ciertas actividades. No hay una regla, digamos, eh, que si es un verbo pasivo o es un verbo activo, eh, vas a usar do o make. No. Solo es de familiarizar. Por ejemplo, tú dices, I do my homework. No dices, I make my homework. O tú dices, I do exercise. No decís, I make exercise. O si no se dice, I make the bed. Que quiere decir, arreglo la cama. So... Eh, para poder diferenciar es eh, buscar una base de datos, cuáles verbos, se cuáles actividades se colocan make y cuáles actividades se colocan do. Va. Gracias, teacher. Okay. Ahora lo puedo. Porque se me confunde eso. Ok. All right. Let's check. We're going to go to the next one. Let me have Jacqueline. Let me listen to your examples. One, one example or more? Uh, more examples. Okay. I did exercise today. You didn't do my dinner. I got I got up early every week. He didn't get up early in the weekend. I went the party to my friend. She didn't go to the church on Sunday. Perfect. Perfect. Very good. Noten que cuando se usa el auxiliar, el verbo va en simple present. Cuando no se usa el auxiliar, el verbo va en simple past. 
Okay, now we are going to move forward and look at knowledge check. Instructions, complete the conversation by using the correct form of the verb in the past tense. Number one, mm, you have a good summer. Did, did you have a good summer? Excellent, excellent. Did is correct. Okay, we are going to finish the three conversation, four conversations. Vamos a completar las cuatro conversaciones. Any questions at this moment? No, teacher. Are you ready? Yes, yes. teacher. Okay. Let's yes. do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, Jennifer Beatriz, uh, Katia Carolina, let's go. Jennifer Beatriz and Katia Carolina. Jennifer Beatriz. Karen Stephanie, Karen Stephanie. Hello, Karen Stephanie. Yes. Okay. Me, está, me acaba de sacar el. Okay. Hello, Jennifer. Hello, Jennifer. Le damos enviar a eso ahorita ya. Sí, digo yo que sí. Ahora uh -huh. abajo sale otra conversación. Ay, son varias, son cuatro. <coughs> en el pasado de go, when sería peor. Did you went anywhere last summer? <coughs> Este es, es, es termina con ed, ¿verdad? Sí. No, I didn't. I started, ¿verdad? Está, está. Ajá, con E de al final. Eh, estoy.
Ay. Ay. Perdón. ¿Y el pasado de qué? El pasado de qué sería... ¿Cuál? Gracias. Sí, a la madre le respondí. Sí, I got, I got a party time job, so I made some extra money. Sí. Eh, ya lo enviar, ya lo envió usted. Ahorita. El pasado de, de get. Es got, sí. Got. Uh -huh. Ah, quizás en esa línea, esa línea que el de, sale mala. El de when me sale malo. Claro. Ese es order y ese current filter. Bueno. Y siempre me Es que es pregunta esta, entonces cuando es pregunta siempre va igual. ¿Ya lo envió? Sí, a la segunda, sí. Ajá, ¿y ya le, le salió bien? Sí. Ah, bien. Entonces vamos con la, con la tercera, ¿verdad? Teacher, we need more time. Is everybody finished or do you need more time? Finished. I need time. More time. Teacher. More time. More time? Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. No, no estaba en la actividad. ¿En cuál estaba usted de, de las conversaciones? No, es que no pude hacer la actividad porque me sacó de la llamada, entonces ya no vi qué estábamos haciendo. Ah, bueno. Jennifer. 
Sí, Jennifer. Ah, ok. Vaya, estábamos, ya hicimos hasta la tercera, vamos ahorita. Nos falta la última nomás. Vaya, en la primera, el pasado, eh, bueno, no, sí, did. Did you have a good summer? La segunda, el pasado de Javera. Ah, bueno, es. <coughs> Regálame agua, por favor. El pasado de Javera. <coughs> y del otro de Gowen. Y con la otra va en la segunda, ¿verdad? Ajá, la segunda sería go, el go. verbo ¿no? sí. porque parece que en pregunta como que no cambia igual por el auxiliar ti. No cambia. Ajá, queda igual. La segunda es state. State. Sí. Stay. Stay. Uh -huh. Con ED al final. Sí, ED. Y la otra dijimos que era GOT. Ajá, GOT. Vaya de la, ¿cuál vamos? La tres. La tercera. ¿Era take? ¿Quedaba igual? Sí, take. Did you take? El otro es took, que es el pasado. Creo yo que así se dice took. <coughs> took is correct. Ah, okay. <laughs> Thank you, teacher. Yeah. <clears throat> Vaya la cuatro. Aquí quedaba igual el stick. En la, en la A. El B. No, I didn't, but I read. También quedaba read, igual el verbo. Read. All right, let me have a volunteer for number B. Yes, I didn't. I had a great summer. Excellent. I had a great summer. Jacqueline Stephanie. I went to the beach a lot. I went to, to the, the beach, beach a, lot. a lot. Very good. Fatima Guadalupe. Sí. Um, did you did you go anywhere last summer? Excellent. Did you go, uh, Ana Lisset? No, I didn't stay here. I stayed here. Very good, Eric. Continue. I got a part-time job 
So I made extra money. Perfect. I got Cindy, Janet. Did you take take any classes last summer? Excellent. The next one is Katia Lorena. Yes. Yes, I did. I take tennis lesson and I play tennis every day. Excellent. I took. 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 Eh, Erasmo Perla. Did you did you speak English last summer? Good. Did you speak English last summer? Santos Miguel. Santos Miguel, la que sigue. No tenía que dar el micrófono, ok. No, I didn't. No, I didn't. But I read English book. I read. La pronunciación en pasado se escribe igual, pero la pronunciación es red. Así como el red. color rojo. Okay. Red. Ok, thank you. Uh -huh. Lady Ibeis. Sí. La última. Ibeis tiene el micrófono en silencio. So, uh, mm -hmm. watch. Uh, and I watched English movies. Perfect. And I watched English movies. Ok, okay. so quiero que noten que todos estos son verbos irregulares. Teacher, ¿cómo voy a saber si es un verbo regular o irregular? Teacher. ¿Cómo voy a saber si el verbo es regular o irregular? Teacher, ¿cómo voy a saber si el verbo es regular o irregular? Good question. Eh, <risa> tiene que sacar una base de datos de verbos regulares y irregulares y familiarizarlo. El vocabulario. No hay reglas fonéticas eh, si el verbo lleva una sílaba o dos sílabas, es regular o irregular. Eh, si el verbo es para trabajo de oficina y el otro verbo es para trabajo de campo, es regular o irregular. No existen ese tipo de reglas. Solo hay un listado de verbos regulares y un listado de verbos irregulares y familiarizarse, igual que el make y el do. No hay una regla, ¿verdad? Como por ejemplo en put, porque put, poner, se escribe igual y se pronuncia igual casi, ¿verdad? Correct. ¿verdad? Put, put, simple uh, present, teacher, excuse put, me. simple past, y put, ah, sí. past participle. Yes. Teacher. Yes. Tener datos. Yes, ok. Vamos a tomar la asistencia. Por favor, encienda la cámara para su Teacher. Hola, Jacqueline. Eh, mi cámara va a salir oscura porque se acaba de ir la luz y estoy ocupando datos. Entonces, si la he encendido, solo que va a aparecer la imagen oscura. Ok, ok, excelente. Sí, eso me fijé. <risa> It's okay. A mí me pasa por en vez. Ok, estamos esperando a Erasmo Perla que encienda su cámara. De allí todos los demás veo que ya encendieron sus cámaras. Erasmo Perla, lo esperamos a usted. Ok, gracias. Ok, guys, listos. Uno, dos, tres, seis, cheese. Que se vea que es usted. Ok. Una más. 
say cheese. Póngase así enfrente de la cámara. Cheese. Cheese. Ok, perfecto. Sentí que entraba la cámara. Teacher. <laughs> Mande. Yeah, I'm sorry, ya tengo luz. Ya vi. Salve. Ok, ya regresó. Aquí está. Luego del screenshot. Yeah, <laughs> bueno, vamos a repetir el screenshot para Jacqueline. Una vez más, solo este cuadro. Ok, ahí está. All right. Ahora vamos a tomar la asistencia cuando diga su nombre. Por favor, dígame presente. Ana Lisette. Presente. Thank you. Presente. Um, Brenda Susana. Ahora no he visto a Brenda Susana. Brenda Susana, ¿estás ahí? No, no la veo. Okay. Um, Cristian Lisandro. Present teacher. Cindy Janet. Present teacher. Claudia Beatriz. Present. Claudia Roxana. Eh, por ahí estoy escuchando que alguien tiene el micrófono encendido. Eh, por favor, si no está diciendo present, mantenga su micrófono en silencio. Eh, ¿Dónde estaba? Claudia Roxana. Present teacher. Thank you. Daris Marisol. Present teacher. Diego Serrano. Diego Serrano. Present teacher. Tengo problemas con el micrófono. Ok, I got you. Erasmo Perla. Present teacher. Eric Xavier. Present teacher. Fátima Guadalupe. Present teacher. Glenda Maribel. Glenda Maribel. Absent. Ok. Jendal Mariel. Present teacher. Jennifer Beatriz. Present. Eremías Alexander. Present. George Alberto. Present teacher. José Jovito. Present teacher. Karen Lisette. Present. Karen Stephanie. Karen, Stephanie. Ella creo que es la que ha escrito en el chat, que dice que no sé qué problemas tiene. Oh, quiero ver. Me sacó la A cuando iba a tomar la foto, teacher. Ah, ok. So, ella es Karen, Stephanie. Sí, pero ella está, ha estado en toda la clase. Ok, la vamos a poner presente. Uh, Karen Zuleima. Present teacher. Katia Carolina. Present. Katia Lorena. Present teacher. So, okay. Present teacher. Sí, sí. Espérame que está. Teacher. Estoy teniendo problemas con el Inter y me sacó y ahorita escuché que dijo Karen Zuleima. Eh, Soy sí. Karen Stephanie. Ok, sí, ya, la, ya le dimos la asistencia. Gracias. Eh, Karen, no, Katia Lorena. Present teacher. 
Manuel de Jesús. Present teacher. Mónica María. Present teacher. Neidy Ibis. Present teacher. Noemi Lisette. Present teacher. Rose María del Milagro. Present. Santos Miguel. Present teacher. Silvia Esperanza. Present teacher. Jacqueline Stephanie. Present teacher. All right. Okay. All right. Uh, antes que continuemos, eh, mañana terminamos sección 4. Así que para mañana sí necesito que todos estemos al día eh, con todas las secciones. Ok. Que estén al día con sección 1, sección 2, sección 3, el midterm exam y sección 4. Si usted está atrasado en alguna sección, si es sección 1, 2, 3, cualquier sección que sea, eh, usted puede escribirme directamente al WhatsApp o en el grupo para yo poderle darle apoyo. Ok. ¿Quiénes no están Gracias, al día? Okay, sí. ¿Quiénes no están al día en la plataforma? Yo, a mí, yo voy por la 4, por la sección 4. Ok. Si va por la 4, no es mucho la alarma porque mañana terminamos la 4. Yo estoy hablando de aquellos que todavía no están al 100% con la sección 1, 2, 3 y el midterm exam. Esos son los que me preocupan. A mí me falta solo una lección de la sección 2, creo. Lo demás todo lo tengo completo. Y lo de la sección 4 que, que voy a hacer la hora en el mundo. Ok. ¿Alguien más? Ok, tal vez no quiere decir ahorita porque estamos en la clase, se puede, me puede escribir eh, directamente a mí en el chat y yo le puedo apoyar. Solo que si necesita ayuda, le pido que por favor me diga exactamente qué sección y cuál actividad. Para yo no estar buscando el ejercicio en la plataforma. ¿Preguntas? Questions, questions. No questions. No questions. Okay. Let's continue. So, number one is did. Two is had. Three is went. Go, stayed, got. Take. And took. ¿Alguna pregunta sobre esta actividad? No, teacher. Okay. Now we are looking at yes, no questions. By the end of this class, you will learn how to ask and answer simple past yes, no questions. Additionally, you will practice a conversation which illustrates how this topic is used in a real life setting. Al final de esta clase, ustedes aprenderán cómo formular y responder preguntas con respuesta corta, sí y no, en pasado simple. Además, practicarán una conversación la cual ilustra cómo se utiliza este tema en un entorno de la vida real. Listen to the conversation, please. Ask and answer simple past yes or no questions. ¿Todos escuchan? Yes. 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 
Okay. Yes. Let's get started by listening to the conversation title. Did you like it? Let's listen and practice. Did you like it? So, did you go anywhere last summer? Yes, I did. My sister and I went to Arizona. We saw the Grand Canyon. Really? Did you like it? Oh, yes. We loved it. Did you go hiking there? No, we didn't. Actually, we rode horses. And we also went whitewater rafting on the Colorado River. Wow. Did you have fun? Yes, we did. We had a great time. Let's take a look at the questions on this chart. Simple past yes-no questions. Did you have a good summer? Yes, I did. I had a great summer. Did you play volleyball? No, I didn't. I played tennis. Did Erica like her vacation? Yes, she did. She liked it a lot. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? No, they didn't. They went to Arizona. In order to form simple past yes or no questions, we can follow this formula. Auxiliary did plus subject plus the verb in the present plus complement. Let's analyze a couple of questions. Did you have a good summer? First, we will add the auxiliary verb did. Next, we need to include the subject, you. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, have. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary verb did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark. A good summer. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, I did, or negatively by saying, no, I didn't. In our example, we can see that the question was answered positively, yes, I did, then extra information is given. I had a great summer. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense. Have turned into had. Let's analyze one more question. I'll choose the last one on this chart. Did Erica and her sister go to Colorado? First, we will add the auxiliary did. Next, we need to include the subject, Erica and her sister. After that, we will add the verb in the present tense, go. I would like to point out that the verb doesn't change to the past because we are using the auxiliary did. Finally, we add a complement and a question mark to Colorado. To answer this question, we can answer either positively by saying, yes, they did, or negatively by saying, no, they didn't. In our example, we can see that it is answered by saying, no, they didn't. Then extra given, they went to Arizona. Notice that the verb now changed to the past tense go turned into went. Now it's your turn to practice. I would like for you to think about your last vacation and practice making questions and answers about it. After you finish this activity, share your work in our discussion forums. All right, guys, time's up. Time is up. Please continue working the activities on the platform, and we will see you guys tomorrow. All right, good night. Good night. Good night. Bye. 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 Good night, guys. Bye. Bye. Good night. Tomorrow. Good night. Tomorrow, we will.